All right, so I'm going to show you how to replace the bearings on a Federal Model 2. Uh, as you can probably hear, that one is war slap out. But uh, I already pulled this one off. I didn't think about doing a video, but uh, all you got to do is take that little reclining clip off right there. It goes on about right here. Then you just get a puller like this, and that will pull the... Uh, bearing off the shaft. It just pushes downward and picks up on the bearing, pulls it right off. But anyway, so now we're going to install a new one. This is a 6202 uh, 2RS. It's a sealed bearing. It's just a standard. It's high. A lot of them, seems like a lot of them are used in uh, skateboards and stuff like that. But anyway, so first, let's get a piece of, like a block of wood so you don't hit them straight on the bearing. Make sure it's centered and then you just lightly tap it on to get started. And there you go. That's almost on there. That's flush with the top of the shaft. You get the rest of the way on. You need to use a 5-8 socket that'll go it fits right around the shaft and just barely goes over like right around the inner race. That way you're not hitting the actual shield. And you just finish it off. That's it. That's the bottom bearing. All you gotta do is put the clip back on. This can be fun sometimes. All right, we're gonna show you how to do the top bearing now. This is a little trickier because you got this little lock washer here that uh, has all these little teeth that go around it that hold this retaining nut in place. And uh, what you gotta have is a little bit of like precision screwdriver, but not tiny, tiny. Just enough to get in that little space in there. You can see. And you just pry that out until that little tooth gets out of the way where you can t turn the nut off. And then you can just take like a bigger screwdriver. Once you get out of the groove, you can take a bigger one and pry it on out. It doesn't have to be flat, but it just has to be kind of out of the way of that groove. I'm kind of flat in my little bit. Let's see if I can get in a better position where you guys can see. This is about all you got to really do with this, <clears throat> with this one. You just... Uh, just pry these little tabs out where you can, but it won't interfere with the nut coming off. Jane. So that one can be a little fun. <laughs> I don't know why they are. There we go. Sometimes you gotta get the little one back up. Yep. There we go. Last one, I think. No, I've got a couple more. sucks when you slip sometimes and <laughs> cut the hell out of your hand. It's not fun. There we go. Alright. I say you can't get it off by hand. It's too hard. I just always use a pair of channel locks to get it off. Just kind of grab it on there and turn it off. That's all there is to it. And once it gets about right there, you can usually get it off by hand. 
It's a little bit tough. Okay. Turn your camera up a little bit. There you go. See, it's got a. The top of the nut is flat. Like that. And then the bottom of the nut is beveled. It has like a little beveled edge on it. So that way you always put the bevel down on top of the nut. A little retaining washer here. But then the retaining washer just comes off, and now you can see what I mean about it having all those little teeth. I think it has one tube that locks into the keyway on the shaft, which you can see right there. Now the bearing is exposed. Okay, now that we got the uh, the retaining nut and the washer off, we'll pull the bearing. What you got to do is you got to use that little bearing retaining ring right there to pull it. So you can barely see it in there. You just put the pull with jaws underneath that, and it lifts up the whole bearing as you tighten down. And all you got to do is just turn this thing clockwise, and it pulls it right off. Via a Hollywood finger. And there you go. There's the bearing. And you can just leave this on there so that way you can get a fool with it. And then here's the new bearing. Once again, you just get that thing in place. Use your 5 8 socket. And just tap it down. There it is. It's a new bearing installed. Now you gotta do is put your lock washer back on. Use the keyway. Just like that. Then your retaining nut. Make sure you put the bevel side down. Kind of. There it goes. Usually you can't get it too far by hand. Usually you end up having to come in with a wrench. But sometimes it goes alright. Like this time it seems to be going okay. And there's the point for the wrench. Just, just grab it. And then you just turn the whole damn rotor. It just makes it easier. it down and as you can see only one of them will line up with your little tab there and all you gotta do is get your screwdriver and just gently pry up on them sometimes you gotta turn the nut a little bit to get it to line up just right it's tricky. See, I didn't go too far. That's about it. Okay. Let me just gently pry up on this guy here. Once you get that started, you just take your pliers. There you go. And just to be sure, I just pry these back up, back in place, kind of. Alrighty, and that's it. That's how you install bearings on a Model 2. That's your top bearing.
and your bottom bearing. Alrighty, that should cover that. And the reassembly is easy. I mean, most anybody knows how to reassemble it, but I might make another video about that sooner or later. But uh, anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.